we're driving down to uh, BLM area. Um, it says to drive 26 miles south to the, the Spooky Gulch Trailhead. Uh, it's pretty smooth, it's not bad. We're driving a four, four door sedan. If you want to go further to uh, Jacob Hamblin or Reflection Can, definitely need probably something with a little more clearance. But uh, the sedan's okay for this uh, the northern half of Escalante. Just now we drove up here and here's the overflow parking, but we passed that and drove up to the lower drive for a trailhead. Uh, what we're going to do is hike 1.4 miles up here, go through Peekaboo Gulch, and that connects to Spooky Gulch. We're going to skip the drive foot narrows and come back to the parking. Watch out for the sign. We actually almost missed it. We walked behind it. So yeah, watch out and follow these Ken stones down to the gulch. Looks like you're supposed to follow this road to the right, but actually, if you go to the left, there's a little sign right there, and you actually go through this uh, crevasse and climb through it. So let's go. Now's the fun part. We gotta go through the series of holes that you all right, ready to climb? You can do it. Don't let some rock stop you when you're caught between a rock and a hard place. You'll see a little crack. We just made it to Spooky Gulch, and it is extremely narrow. You gotta walk through this on your side. Aaron took his backpack off, and it's about one shoe with you can see over here it's extremely extremely tight seems easy but once you get down here and experience how narrow it is especially if you have a backpack or a camera and only one hand it's it's actually difficult that was fun it's a lot of fun coming out of spooky gulch it was super narrow but super worthwhile i think it took us about three hours, but we took our time, we took pictures, took videos, so if you're a short time, you can definitely squeeze it in in probably two hours. Um, it, was, it was cool, highly recommend. Yeah, don't bring a lot of stuff though. Yeah, it was, it's kind of annoying holding my camera, holding a bag, and you just can't put it back, so you gotta hold it to the sides. So, uh, you can use your hands at some point to help yourself along. After a long day of hiking and driving, Set up a small campfire here with our tent over there. Under this big old tree. Eating some pho, <laughs> some ramen. Hot food's always good after hiking. See you in the morning. Good night. Bye. <laughs>